Ah, I'm very excited about today. Why, you might ask? Well, today is laundry day. Now, Galway has a bunch of dry cleaners, but the only laundromats that are self-serve are these outdoor ones that I could find, and I only found two of them. This is the smallest washer they have for eight kilograms, four euro. I only have about a half a kilogram of laundry to do. Hope this machine works. One of the nice things is that no detergent is needed. Apparently the water is infused with the detergent. All right, let's do this. Choosing my cycle, start. Oh, make sure you don't put your baby in the washer. Some might question why I only have a small load of laundry. Well, that honestly is all the clothes I bring. When you travel long term like this, you don't really need a whole lot of clothes. You just need to wash them every few days. So today's that day, wash is getting done. And, and tomorrow when I wake my way from Galway up to the uh, Giants Causeway and have nice clean clothes. I have another half hour to wait. I'm gonna get something to eat. Ham and cheese croissant. One other thing, the kids at home, make sure you stay hydrated. We're having a heat wave here in Galway. It's like, what, 22 degrees Celsius, boiling. People are going to the hospital. They're just not used to that kind of heat around here. Drink lots of water. Actually, two pieces of advice. This is travel advice and anytime advice. Stay hydrated and keep your butthole clean. Those two things will keep you happy on the road. Another 15 minutes left on the laundry. Getting bored. Kind of want to fly the drone. It's a little bit busy here. There's a road, there's a gas station. I think I'll just wait till I can get away from here. Fly the drone somewhere else. The washing cycle is almost done. I'm getting so excited. Okay, laundry is done. Goodbye, outdoor laundrette. Now I'm off to find a coffee shop. Gotta fill myself with some caffeine and get some work done. All right, gonna buy a ticket and a journey planner. The kiosk that sells the ticket can't find its own website. Now, when I tell people that I travel full time, uh, they often say I'm living the dream, living in hotels, having a great time. Daily life goes on as normal. You still have to do all the things that you had to do when you're living in one place. Sometimes it's a little more difficult to get things done, but then there's also the nice times like this where I can lie in the sun in the middle of the park in Galway. Before wrapping things up for today, there's one more thing that I wanted to talk about. One of the awesome things about traveling in 2018 is the ability to, no matter where I am in the world, pull my phone out, pull up a Google map and figure things out. Before I started traveling, I went and got a T-Mobile phone because they advertised free international roaming in like 170 countries. I asked the uh, sales guy and I said, look, I plan to be out of the country for a couple of years. Is the plan still good for that? And he said, oh yeah, no problem. Well, it's now three and a half years later on, 
and I got a message that says I have violated the terms and conditions by roaming for too long. I've either got to go back to the US and reset the phone, whatever that means, or I have to kill the account, which means I'm gonna lose my phone number. I had to opt for killing my T-Mobile number, so if you have my phone number, it no longer works. I bought a local SIM card here in Ireland at a company called Three uh, as of, I think it was as of June or July 2017. All the companies have to allow roaming on their cards. This SIM card that I bought gives me unlimited data, unlimited texts within Ireland. Uh, in the EU, it, I think it goes down to six gigabytes. The gist of it is, it was 20 euros for basically 30 days. That translates into something like $23 US for a month. Considering T-Mobile was charging me, after fees and taxes and everything, about uh, 65 US dollars, this is actually a fantastic deal. One of the downsides is I'm going to have to get a new SIM card for every country I go to or get a friend here in Ireland to top up my card for me as I travel and then I just transfer the money to them. To maintain the convenience of traveling the way I like to travel and being connected, I have to go through the inconvenience of dealing with uh, getting a new SIM card everywhere I go or figuring something out to make this work for me. Um, so I guess that's it for today. I'm going to wrap up this video with that and uh, see you in the next one.